is up guys, Smith Angling TV today at the Anglers for Anglers first league, first comp of the season. So excited. Today I'll be fishing alone, but hopefully in the future I'll get a partner to fish with me. But yeah, um, I'm super excited for today. As you guys can see, cloudy weather, beautiful weather. Um, it's, it's predicted that's going to have a little bit of thunder later on and maybe some rain, but let's hope it stays like this and let's hope the fishing is on fire. Um, let's hope we can get that far of big keepers. But stay tuned. And yeah, time check is around 5.30 right now. About to have captain's meeting in around 30 minutes and then it's launch and to some docks. Enjoy. Unfortunately, I had some technical difficulties. My voice recorder didn't want to record for some reason. So I'm sitting at home right now and I'm doing this voice over for you guys. And here I catch my first bass for the day after getting out of the starting gates around 30 minutes. Um, I pulled boat number eight and when they called me, uh, my outboard didn't want to start. So I had to let everyone, well, get out of the starting gate before me. And uh, then I eventually gave up and I started uh, fishing on the trailing motor. And around 30 minutes in, I got this nice one on the drop shot. Very happy about this fish. And the first one for me for the day. In this clip, I got my second catch of the day at the same spot. Um, literally cast after this the previous fish and once again the drop shot hooked up this bass now i got these bass on a piece of water it was close to a jetty and that pipe as you guys can see right there and there was some water flowing in in there so obviously it made some oxygen and i don't know that kind of was one of the reasons why the fish were fired up a bit more but yeah they were literally eating this uh, drop shot cast after cast and yeah i actually caught one of my, my one of my better fish he actually wrapped me around the pool I had to stop the video and I resumed the video here and um, yeah, uh, I actually thought I was going to lose the fish, luckily he unwrapped himself, uh, just kept tension and yeah, yeah, I caught one of my bigger fish for the day, not a, not a massive one but around a, around a kilo fish for me and yeah, one of my better fish for the day. I was very happy after catching this one as bronchies uh, can be quite a tough venue to get some of the bigger fish to bite. This clip I catch my third fish for the day. Literally the third cast after I caught my first one. First cast, I caught the first fish. Second cast, second fish. Third cast, I caught this fish. Um, also one of my better fish for the day. And yeah, once again, fishing that same jetty. They were just so bundled up on that little spot um, that if I cast it there, I picked up a fish and um, I caught four fish in this one specific spot. So it really helped me get my bag early on. Um, yeah, this one was also around, I would say around 700 grams, um, a little bit smaller than my previous one, but it really took the drop shot nicely. I had about a foot leader from the, from the weight to the hook, and I was just fishing a rubber worm quite slow, and that really did the damage. All right, guys, I just want to take a quick minute to thank all the sponsors of the Anglers for Anglers season. Uh, without them, this is definitely not possible. All the brands you see come, uh, coming up on the screen right now, be sure to support these guys as they are putting so much into the fishing community. Yeah, and like I said before, without them, it's definitely not possible. So yeah, show your appreciation, support these guys. And yeah, let's get some more dogs. So here I'm going for my fourth fish and yeah, this fish is the last fish I catch at this specific spot. Now I noticed that there was a sweet spot on this specific JT that literally if I cast it about 30 centimeters left or right of it, I didn't get bit. Um, after the third fish I caught, I made a few casts, didn't get bit at all. And I cast it back in that specific spot, sweet spot, and I picked up this little dink. Um, yeah, I'm just happy to start getting close to my limit at this stage, showing the robo worm. And yeah, quite happy. <laughs> About 30 minutes later and around 200 meters further out, um, also on the trailing motor still, I got my fifth fish and yeah, about the second cast on this uh, specific piece of structure. Once again, not a monster, but just giving me that confidence to start culling. So had my limit, was very happy and um, started raining here a bit. So I think the, the low pressure really helped uh, me get some of these fish. But yeah, as you guys can see, I covered my camera equipment there. You'll see the umbrella at the bottom of the frame. And I had my rain suits on, so make sure you got your rain suits on next time 
there's some rain prediction because without that I would have been a bit wet and cold. So yeah, luckily I remembered that. And yeah, let's see if we can call. Luckily around three hours into the comp, I managed to get my outboard to start. So I started running around to go to some of the spots I actually plan on going to. Um, unfortunately, all of them have been fished and I didn't really get a single fish at any of them. So I moved to the river here and I got my first um, fish, which I was being able to call some of my smaller fish. I was very happy about that. I was uh, basically flipping a Texas uh, rigged missile bait D-bomb. Um, awesome little bait from the STB boxes. And yeah, well, one of the better fish for me as well, which I was able to call with. So super happy about that. Very windy. I think that helped a lot as well. Yeah, here I catch my very last fish for the day. Um, it was getting quite close to the way in time. So I had to um, make something happen real quick. So I was pitching a missile bait D-bomb once again on Texas rig. I was pitching a half ounce. I think the weight was a little bit too big, but I managed to get some fish on it. So I was very happy. Now, unfortunately, this fish didn't call anything. So I was just throwing him back. But it was a lot of fun uh, catching him on the Pesca Pro Series heavy pitching rod. Very nice rod and yeah, super happy even though I can call it. Alright guys, so that is a wrap up for today. Anglers for Anglers, Bronchis, Leg One. Yeah, I didn't manage to get a top 10 as I was hoping. I was really trying to get the top 10 today. Unfortunately, it didn't come through. But the next one is the whip. I'm going to give my best there. And yeah, let's hope it goes a bit better than here. But stay tuned for that. Make sure you like and subscribe. And once again, thanks to the Anglers for Anglers and all the sponsors. Uh, without you guys, it's really not possible. So thank you so much. Hit the like and subscribe button. And share it if you enjoyed the video. See you next time. Peace out.